Hey guys, today we're going to be doing uh, some wheel bearings on the Mighty 350 here. Very easy job, but I um, thought we'd make a video about it anyway. So we're both wearing our Skid Factory tees. Thanks, Skid Factory boys. <laughs> Use your brain. <laughs> yeah. All right, so the first thing, Natalie, how do we tell that this um, bike needs new rear wheel bearings? Well, you, my love, wiggled my back wheel and there was quite a bit of play and you can hear it knocking so to check you want to put the bike off it's um if you have it on a stand put it on the ground and wiggle your wheels side to side now if you can hear a clunking or clicking or you can feel it moving it's usually a sign that the bearings are on the way out these ones aren't too bad but that's they could go at any time, they could be a rough another five rides, but you just don't know. Um, if they end up flogging out in the middle of a ride, you're screwed. So we're just going to replace them now because we have some here. Sometimes it can be your actual swing arm that's got play in it. So what you can do, place your thumb or finger or something in between the hub and the swing arm and wiggle it and you can feel a slight movement there. So you know that it's actually the wheel bearings that have play in them, not the swing arm. Since this is Natalie's bike, she's gonna be doing the work today. And I'm gonna hold the camera. So what are we doing here? I'm taking the... <laughs> now I know a lot of you people are gonna have a whinge or be a bit upset about my work attire on my feet, but it's comfortable and it's my own damn fault if I hurt myself. <laughs> Okay, so we're removing the wheel, as Natalie's failing to tell you. Sorry, I'm removing the wheel. Obviously. It may not be obvious to some people. <laughs> You've got to remove the wheel to replace the bearings. So we have some uh, wheel bearings that have been in the freezer all night, so... People recommend that's a good way to shrink them down and so they go in easier, but um, I'm not sure how much that really helps, but uh, we do it anyway. All right, so, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a lot of bikes will be the same as this, but some will be slightly different. With these wheel spaces, you, you want to hit them from the other side, it's the easiest way to get them out. So whack the one on the... Flipping over. There's your wheel spacer. Next step is to pry out your dust seals. Now, does it matter if I f muck, if I wreck these? Have we got new ones to put in or not? We have new ones. But okay. You don't you don't want to be putting the old ones back in anyway. They, okay. They do wear out. Okay. You might actually be better off with that big screwdriver if it'll fit in there. I was about to say, you're going to need a man's touch. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of corrosion and dirt in there. So with these KDMs, you have a circlet in here that you have to remove before you can pull this side out. Circlet pliers. Beautiful. Flip and repeat. <clears throat> so these are the original wheel bearings still on this 350 from new. Uh, it's got nearly 5,000 Ks on it, does it? Yeah. <clears throat> and they are what, four years old now, so. All right, the next step, because you have a spacer that runs in between 
the bearings on the other side um, there's a spacer in the middle you need to knock it to one side so that you can get your um, screwdriver or whatever you want to knock this, the bearing out with onto the lip of that bearing so with that spacer pushed to one side uh, it makes it a lot easier I think for some reason the side with the circlet is actually easier to knock that spacer to one side yeah so you just get something in there like a socket extension bar or something you can knock that space to one side and that gives you a bit of a lip on the on the bearing to catch you from the other side if you know what I mean you also want to be careful um, some of these KVMs have a plastic uh, a thin plastic washer spacer on one side it's very easy to forget about that and belt the shit out of it and then you end up having to spend 20 bucks or whatever they want for a new one I don't know why they're in there, I think it was just an error in the manufacturing process that had a bit too much of a gap so they had to put a thin plastic washer in there alright, that you can whack the bearing out now should be good to go she's gone with a rubber mallet, don't know if that's going to work Once you knock that bearing out just a little bit, your, your space will be loose now and you'll be able to move it from side to side and, and then whack the bearing from both angles so you're not just hitting it on the one side the whole time. We now have a proper hammer. <laughs> <laughs> So the space is out. The bearing is just there. Um... It's one bearing out. Just trying to see if there's a plastic washer on this one. Looks like there might be. Yeah, so there's a plastic washer on this one. So what you want to do is make sure when you're taking out the second bearing, it's the side opposite the one with the circlet. I don't know if you can see that very well, but when you're hammering out this side bearing you want to make sure you're just hammering on that bearing and not on that not on the plastic thing because you will munt it so that's just something to be aware of with these bloody KDMs So that's a little plastic washer I'm talking about. Just want to make sure you put it back where it was. But we'll give this all a good clean up anyway. So these bearings are still pretty free but you can feel a little bit of play in there and they sound a bit gritty so definitely time to replace them. So you just want to check your wheel spaces for wear, they do wear out. These are getting a bit bit dodgy but um, they'll be good for now with new seals. Alright so we've cleaned up inside the hubs here, uh, cleaned up all the wheel spaces and everything. Uh, I'm going to throw the little plastic washer back in on the sprocket side. Alright we're ready for the uh, Frozen bearings. Frozen berries. Frozen berries. <laughs> okay. So guys, just remember this is how we do it. We're not saying that this is the right way to do stuff, but it works for us, so we do put a little bit of fresh grease around the inside of the hub there before we put the new bearings in. So guys, this is probably the most important part of the whole process. Uh, in order to not damage your brand new bearings when you're hitting the new ones in you only want to be tapping on the outside shell so we use a 32mm socket which is probably a little bit too small but if you hit it to one side move it to one if you know what I mean you can move it from side to side and it's um, 
basically you don't want to be you don't want to be hitting anything on the centerpiece or on this seal here because it will ruin your new bearing so you need to be very careful you can actually just use the hammer until it gets down to the lip of the hub difference in the sound when it gets all the way in. Right there. So that's one done. Do you want to do the second one? Mm-hmm. Very, very important as well. <coughs> do not forget to put your spacer back in. <laughs> Otherwise you'll be um, knocking out your brand new bearings and going to buy another set. That guy will sit right in the middle there. That's why it's um, impossible to knock it out at the other end. When you're trying to move it from one side to the other, you can't. You can only do it on this end. Oh, okay. Because it sits inside that plastic that other, thing. Yeah, right, okay. So, yeah, it's just something to be aware of. Right, you're going to go grab that other bearing out of the freezer and um, I'll film you putting this one in. I'll just use the hammer first, um, but make sure you're just hitting the outside. Hit it on this side, when you're on this side, then you move it across to the other lip and then you only hit it on that side. You know what I mean? So just side to side, yeah? Yeah. Space is nice and tight. Beautiful. Cool. And it's below the line for the circlip too. Now against our better judgment we are using all balls uh, wheel bearings this time only because we had them here already. Um, we've got better bearings here to use but we want to get these out of the way. We probably should have just thrown them in the bin but um, hopefully we'll get a thousand k's out of them. They're pretty crap but ah oh well. Time for the circlet to go back in. Try, what you want to try and do with this is get those, get it right on the tips. Yeah, I did. So I tried, it, yeah. but it slipped. Just the tip. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright, seal's going in. Actually, that's probably good enough. I was going to say, don't they just sit right on the edge? Yeah. You can grease it up now and throw the spacer in if you want. That'll be that side done. So don't forget to grease the seals guys, they don't last very long at all without greasing them. You're getting those nice fingernails all grotty. <laughs> <laughs> that's alright, that's why I don't normally have them. <laughs> Check out me scar dudes, <laughs> sweet eh? They're a bit frozen still. <laughs> They're always, they're always tight anyway. Hang on, let me get this side. Yeah. Alright, space are going back in. And that, my friends, is how you put your bearings in our style. <laughs> MVDB our style. Quickest way to keep tension on your chain adjusters is pull the chain up tight when you're tightening the axle nut. Yeah, 
that, eh? Brand new bearings. Good to go. Yep. How long that take us? Half hour? Half hour. 45 minutes. Easy job. And if you go to your local bearing shop and get quality bearings and seals, they'll last a long time. Don't get the all balls ones they're crap. And of course they're cheaper too. I think they're, yeah, they're a lot cheaper um, from the bearing shop. Yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, I hope this has helped somebody. Easy job. Uh, how many MZs? 1.5. <laughs> what do you reckon? <laughs> Maybe a three MZs for people who have never done it before. Yeah. No special tools required. <laughs> uh, yeah, easy job. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers. See ya. Bye. You put all my tools away yet or what? <laughs> oh, she's a good girl.